how to create and sell nfts on rarible in three easy steps hi guys in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can upload your nfts in just three simple steps so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video so the first thing that i want you guys to do is come over to rarible.com now this is the how the website looks like as you can see unlike open seas and stuff like that rarible is pretty awesome like it looks pretty funky and it has a lot of different nfts in it as well and as you can see a lot of creators that are on open seas also sell on on rarible as well so you don't have to worry about anything like i think that it's just as big as open seas but i think open seas is still a little bit bigger this is how the website looks like so let's just get to it so the first step is all you have to do is just simply sign up now you can sign up by using your metamask wallet or your ronin wallet or any other uh ethereum wallet that you might use so basically just create a ethereum wallet and you're good to go and it'll automatically connect to the rarible.com and you are good to go so that was step number one step number two is basically creating nfts and now i have done a video on how you can create one before in a step-by-step -step manner you can go ahead and check it out on the channel just look for it it'll be there in that video i basically tell you how you can create one so i'm just quickly going to go over it again and i'm going to show you how you can basically create nfts and gifts as well so so i'm just simply going to open up photoshop and over here i'm going to show you how i created it it's pretty simple it's pretty easy but if you really want to make an impression then you really have to work on your nfts like you have to create something original that no one else has seen so that people will like it so this is the one that i use i just basically download this image and i'm gonna just simply gonna make it you know uh turn it into a gif basically so i'm gonna go ahead and select this layer over here and i'm gonna go over to layers and i'm gonna duplicate the layer as you can see over here so the layer has been duplicated and at the bottom one i'm gonna unlock it and i'm gonna add a filter on it so i'm gonna go ahead and distort it basically so i'm gonna go ahead and add the ripple effect so this is how it will look like i'm gonna go ahead and turn, click open i don't think it works so let me just add in another filter that is more you know seeable to the eye so i'm gonna go ahead and click on distort and i'm gonna choose wave so this is how it looks like basically as you can see this is how it will look like. So now I'm just simply going to go ahead and create a GIF. So to create a GIF, all you have to do is come over to Windows and then come down below over to Timeline. Now once you click on Timeline, this little window will open up. Now this is your timeline and this is where basically the magic happens. So once it is open, all you have to do is just simply click on create frame animation. And this is basically our first frame. This is how it will look like. Second frame, I want to make it distorted. So I'm going to uncheck this box. So the frame looks like this and then just simply click on add frame. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. And I'm going to add in another frame because a single frame is too fast. Sometimes people can't understand it. A little slow is better. So, and I'm going to add in another frame just in case. Now I'm going to check this box again and I'm going to uncheck the distorted one. And then I'm going to click on add. So this is how it will basically look like. Now, if you play it, this is how it looks like. Now, all we have to do is just simply export it. So to export your GIFs, all you have to do is click on file come down below on export and then just simply click on save for web now once we do that we have to save it in a gear preset so this is how it will look like make sure you select gif right when you're exporting it make sure the preset is gif and then just simply click on save and once you have it just simply choose the folder where you want to like save it i'm just simply going to change this image up i'm gonna randomly write white okay and then i'm just simply going to click on save that is basically it it's exported now let me just close it yes let's save it save on your computer save okay now that it's saved now let's go ahead and upload it so to upload it this is basically step number three step number one was signing up step number two was creating your nft step number three is uploading it so to upload it simply click on create now over here you have two options basically you can sell a single nft or a multiple basically create a collection but since we have one we're going to upload one but keep in mind that collections sell faster and it's more profitable for people as well so make sure you sell it as a collection that's why a lot of people sell in a collection that's why they have packs like 10k pack or 5k pack and different packs they're basically selling their nfts in a collection so i'm going to go ahead and choose the single one and now i'm going to go ahead and choose my file that i wanted to upload this one was it i'm going to 
choose it it looks something like this then down below i'm gonna have the pricings now we can choose a fixed price a timed auction or an open for bid basically what that means is if i choose the timed auction basically i will have a time limit and an auction so basically in whichever in that time frame the highest one that has paid me will get all the money and then we have open bids basically anyone can bid it and the highest number that has bid it on it will win and he will be the one to get this nft and then down below we can add our F price as well so since we're choosing fixed price now over here we just have to enter in our price and over here as you can see service fee is 2.5 percent many websites require it now if you choose polygon i think if you choose polygon you don't have to pay uh the gas fee i think but i don't see it over here let me just take a quick look yeah no i don't see it over here so i don't think I, you can pay it you can even choose us dollar like you know uh us dollar uh rari Ash, and other cryptocurrencies that you want but i think we'll just keep with ethereum so let's just enter in 0 0.05 ethereum which is going to be this one this is going to be basically how much we will receive and 161 dollars so once we have paid our price we will receive 161 dollars for our ethereum now be sure now your prices can be different you want to add in more prices that's fine because i'm sure you guys are much more talented and you will be creating much much more creative and original nfts but for me i'm just giving you an example so that's why i'm just you know typing in that much then just simply enter in a title i'm gonna go ahead and add in a title this is going to be my title and then down below i'm gonna add in my description make sure you add in a good description because people people will see the description and they will be like you know what this person is adding so much information this must be legit he's he's working on it he's giving us all the information so make sure you add in a good description so that people can trust you then stuff like that and then down below enter in your royalties i've entered in 10 percent so the maximum is 50 percent that depends upon you basically royalty is for affiliates those who will you know share this and they will get a cut as well so remember that now once we have everything settled all that's left for us to do is to simply create the item and over here as you can see it's telling us that the, it's being processed it will send a notification to our meta wallet where we have to just simply confirm the transaction and it will take the cut from us now as you can see i don't have uh, any ethereum in my wallet so i have to so i can't you know proceed but that what you basically have to do is just simply approve the transaction and then just simply click on the start and then your nft will be uploaded and you can start minting your nft and then that is basically it so let me just go ahead and reject this because i can't move forward but you get the idea of what i'm talking about so that is it for this video guys if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below as i said earlier i will be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye